This is the Microsoft Cloud Show, episode 27, where we're going to introduce a new resource site for SharePoint Office 365 called IT Unity. Welcome to the Microsoft Cloud Show, the only place to stay up to date on everything going on in the Microsoft Cloud world, including Windows Azure, Office 365, SharePoint, Exchange, Link, and related technologies. Just the information, no marketing, no BS. I'm Andrew Connell. And I'm Chris Johnson. And we're just two dudes telling you how we see it. Okay, so we're here uh, at the SharePoint TechCon conference in San Francisco in late April. Uh, we're going to do this as a different show instead of doing it uh, with CJ and I going back and forth. Um, we're actually going to interview four people here that are, are responsible for a new site that is coming out, a new resource site for everybody around SharePoint Office 365. Um, so let me just quickly just uh, introduce everyone and then we'll dive right in. So first, Jackie? Yes, hi, I'm Jackie Bailey and I am the co-founder and also the managing director of IT Unity. We also have with us Dan Holm. Hi, my name is Dan Holm and I'm also the co-founder of IT Unity. And we also have Heather Newman with us. Hello, I'm Heather Newman, Marketing Maven for IT Unity. And Scott Hillier is with us as well. Hi, Scott Hillier. I'm Community Lead for the Application Development side of IT Unity. Fantastic. This is Andrew. I'm also involved with IT Unity, but uh, I'm not going to uh, be interviewing myself on this one. We're going to kind of interview the four of you, Heather, Jackie, Scott, and Dan, um, as we sit around the table and just kind of let people know what IT Unity is, what's so special about it, why should they care. so first, I guess, what's the big news about IT Unity? What's going? Why are we doing this? Why are we talking about it this week? Well, IT Unity is going live tomorrow, April twenty third, and it's a new, as you mentioned, online resource for businesses and individuals trying to solve problems with technology. And we're focusing, as you mentioned, first on SharePoint and Office three sixty five. So I guess it's, it's, it's worth going through and pointing out um, that we're recording this, uh, today, it's April 22nd. We're going live at the site tomorrow, uh, April 23rd or maybe midnight somewhere around the world, uh, for the site. And this show is going to come out, uh, next week, which will be on April the 29th. And so we're about a week away from, uh, when this show will go live. But by the time you hear this, the show will be live. Uh, the site will be live. We'll be able to jump right in, uh, right away. So I guess the first question after, well, I guess the second question after talking a little bit about what IT Unity is, um, I guess, where did this idea come from, Dan? Well, the idea is something that uh, several of us have been talking about for a number of years because we recognize that the way people get answers and find solutions to problems these days on the web is really not very efficient uh, or useful. People generally will go out on the web and Google a problem. They'll find blog posts from you know experts like yourself and Scott and others who uh, have uh, uh, blogged about that solution, but the user doesn't know exactly who they can trust. And more importantly, perhaps they don't know how all these different pieces of information fit together. So they don't have a context in which to say, oh, if I read Scott's article and then Andrew's, then I have a full solution. Or maybe I need this tool that this third party offers as part of the solution as well. There's, there's no way to sew it all together and provide a single comprehensive solution to a business problem. So would you say that that's kind of where this site's going, this resource is going to stand out from what all the other resources that we use today, the MSDNs, the TechNets, the Stack Overflows, the MSDN forums and TechNet forums? How, how, do you, how do you see this as being something so much more special? Why should someone come here first compared to looking at all those other different places uh, and, and beyond kind of what you were just saying a second ago? Yeah, I think there's a couple of reasons why this will really stand out as the community evolves. The first of which is the caliber of people we have involved with community. Just about everyone that your listeners have heard of in the SharePoint and Office 365 space is going to be involved as an author and contributor to the community. So it will be a comprehensive one stop for content from all of these amazing people. The second thing will be the, the context that we're able to put content in and how we present the content uh, uh, from the perspective of a business need rather than just purely focusing on this is just about Office 365. It's not. It's about doing something for your business with Office 365. So that uh, business problem focus will be a a big difference as well. We also are addressing all audiences. So, for example, TechNet is IT Pro, MSDN is um, uh, developer, and office.microsoft.com is business user. There, There is a blur in those audiences these days where IT pros are having to 
address business needs and developers are having to run infrastructure. And so it, having an artificial delineation of content just based on three audiences doesn't serve the community well. So we're really going to try to address all of those audiences, uh, the people who cross those lines by really focusing on what they're trying to do with the technology. Okay. So, and you mentioned, you mentioned MSDN, you mentioned TechNet and the, 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 uh, the other resource you mentioned also for business users. How does this, how does this resource or how does IT Unity kind of tie in with, with Microsoft or what's the relationship with Microsoft being that, you know, the first focus is around Office 365 around, around SharePoint today. You know, what, how does that kind of tie into it? Yeah, well, Microsoft, of course, has great content properties, and we're not, and we're not in any way trying to compete with Microsoft's uh, content properties. We value them highly, and we hope we can integrate tightly with them over time. What our site will do, though, is it will provide an independent real-world perspective, which, as many of us know, even if you're hearing something that maybe Microsoft says, to hear it from someone you trust suddenly gives it weight. Um, we're also going to be able to develop content and curate it much more rapidly than Microsoft has the resources to do. And we're going to be able to include that very important perspective of where third-party services and products fit into the picture. And of course, Microsoft just simply doesn't do that. That's something they try actively to avoid. So we, we will complement their properties a lot. Um, I expect we're going to be able to announce some great partnerships with them uh, in, in the very near future. And I anticipate that we'll work together to really help their customers succeed with the technology. Okay, so what about like Scott? What about the, the developer story? Because I know you know you're going to be you're you're a developer by trade as well. So what what would you? How's the developer piece kind of angle uh, with IT Unity? Well, I think the first thing to note is that the developer side is one of the communities that's part of IT Unity. So it fits into the larger vision that Dan was articulating. So you know, in many ways, we're not going to be any more special than that. We're going to do all those things that Dan was talking about. But the one thing that I do think stands out is that this is really a pivotal time for developers in the SharePoint space because our life has changed an awful lot, right? Everybody knows we're moving from server-side code to client-side code, and we really don't have the resources necessary to close what, in my opinion, is a pretty significant gap and skills that we have as we change from uh, server-side to this client over a CTP model that developers are so aware of now. So I think the timing is great to build a community like this where we have high-quality content that's focused on modern application development and really helping the SharePoint community as a whole move towards that goal. Gotcha. That makes sense. So, what about who, who's involved in this whole venture? Like, you, I mean, we, we've got the four of us, and you know, we talk. Or I guess there's five of us sitting here between Scott and Dan and Jackie and Heather and myself. But we're not the ones that are writing all the content. I mean, we're doing we're contributing here. But who, what other who else is involved in this from like the developer space? Who's Who's, who's some people that we get that are giving this some credibility and stuff as well? Yeah, sure. So uh, and we've spoken to all the people that you know that folks would name right off the top of their head when they think about high quality people in the space. But we're launching with some very specific content from uh, from uh, Dave Mann. Uh, we certainly have content from myself. I know uh, Andrew, you've put some up there as well. Todd Baginski uh, is involved. And uh, we are expecting to bring content on board uh, rather quickly in the support of uh, non-coding type development from uh, from the likes of Jennifer Mason. So uh, we really are lining up a good stable of, of people that are contributing now when we launch and going forward. How about the people that are like not so much on the dev side? I mean, who, who can you kind of like some names? Can we do some name dropping here? Right? <laughs> Who's the people that are involved in this as well? <laughs> this is a dangerous exercise because I hate to miss anyone. But uh, certainly uh, we've got uh, Asif Ramani, Agnes Molnar, Matt McDermott, Christian Buckley, Jasper Osterveld, um, and Rob Bogue, and uh, a number of others who are in the space. Um, and I'll let maybe Heather uh, drop a few additional names. <laughs> Heather, would you like to drop some names? Sure, absolutely. Uh, Mark Rackley um, is on with us. Christian Buckley is on with us. Um, and we're definitely wooing some other people into uh, this space as well. So. And as we, as Scott alluded to, we uh, have been focusing on getting a, a, a core of content for the Go Live, which is tomorrow, April 23rd. And then we are inviting all of our authors, the broad community, at the same time. So we expect by the time even this podcast reaches your listeners' ears, we should have probably have at least double the amount of content we have in the system, and it will grow very, very quickly. 
I think that's the one of the other differentiators is that the fact that I'm sitting across the table with you three, um, that's a big deal, right? I think that the, there's the influencer community and the MVP community and what was the MCM community and <laughs> all of that. So, you know, I think that says something too that, that I think for a long time I keep hearing that people have wanted to band together and do something like this and this just is the time. Um, I think with the changes that you've been talking about in development and also for SharePoint consultants, you know, the days have changed, even what you're allowed to charge these days for that, plus app development and mobile development and the fact that we have, you know, those of us who have kids, that your 10-year-old is learning to create mobile apps in their coding camps, you know what I mean? So I think trying to get that audience together with the experts of the community is really, really important. And that, that word, that word, the word curate gets tossed around a lot. And, you know, for me, museums are curated, you know, however, I think the content can be curated as well. And I think it can be curated with a really good hand as far as making sure it is the best of the best and that we curate as a community. It's not just you three deeming this is good and this is bad and da, 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 da. That's not how this is going to happen. You're, we are going to take some time to actually build out that program. And Dan's done a lot of um, thinking about how we treat authors, right, and and how we work with them, and, and it's not just about the content itself, but it's about people, which is exciting to me. A lot of the times, you'd be asked to write an article, and you know, maybe you get paid for it, maybe you wouldn't, and then you get get it tossed up. But you know, you don't really have that connection with people, and I think those are some of the things that are coming later with IT Unity that are very exciting. Um, actually, speaking, you know. Get the, you know, I put Dan in a fishbowl before on show site, you know, working for different vendors. And, you know, some of the best best things that have ever happened were those customer conversations that happened for the vendors I was working for, right? And so access is really exciting, I think, on this level. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's definitely a differentiator, I think. That's, those are really good points, Heather. And you, you, also, you just mentioned, I mean, Dan mentioned a minute ago, and then you mentioned also with, uh, with vendors as well and how vendors are going to be involved in this. And it's not just about the individuals that are contributing content as well. But it's also, I uh, understand, something around like service providers or product and service providers. So, Jackie, you, can you speak a little bit to this, too, what the plans are around IT Unity? Sure, Andrew. Um, I have connected with solutions and services providers for over 10 years now, and I have received a lot of input throughout the years uh, of what they're actually looking for in a community. Um, so I'm excited, really excited to say that IT Unity will provide all that that they have been asking for and more. Um, we're going to help solutions and service providers reach out to their target market. Uh, we can help them understand what the community is asking for. Um, we will have tools that will actually track behavior and deliver high quality lead generation programs, brand messaging, product reviews, and even direction with content. Um, we can help with providers' goals and customize a tailored plan that is just for their specific needs. So our community will be able to recognize their pain points and match them to the right solutions. Oh, man, that sounds that's fantastic. I mean, it sounds like we're getting content from it's all, like all these old sites that we used to have. I'm not going to say exactly what, what these different sites are, but it seems like we had all these different communities that we always used to go to for the longest time to get answers of stuff. But it seems like it's all kind of coming together almost as one and everything. So, Heather, you... Yeah, I, I think that that's definitely the case. I think there's some folks that, you know, have sites that have sort of fizzled out or gone away, and they're all players in this game. We've talked to them, contacted them. We're bringing people together. Um, we have SharePoint reviews from Ina Gordon, who's awesome, who's been, you know, in the space forever. And so we're bringing her content under the umbrella of IT Unity. It stays with SharePoint uh, reviews.com, but it's a part of our IT Unity um, umbrella, which is really exciting. Um, and I think, you know, being someone who wears few hats in the community. You know, I'm a CMO for a, a vendor, which I won't name here, but, um, you know, <laughs> an ECM fabulous vendor. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, uh, but, but to Jackie's point, I think something as a marketer and a, a B2B marketer, I'm looking for ways to get at business solutions and use cases and how do we solve problems. So wearing two hats as a vendor, I'm really excited about this community so I can use it as a resource. I can also, I can advertise on it and put content out, but I can also use this as a place where I can actually talk to people and get those great opinions that I need to do my job better. So it's almost like you could say that, uh, I guess I don't want to pick a specific workload because then that kind of identifies different vendors and we don't really want to do that on the show here uh, just yet. Uh, But if we're looking at doing like having a certain practice here 
and I've got content coming in from the business user side on how to deal with this one thing. And they maybe want to do customizations, but with no code. So I could have content coming from someone like an Asif Armani or a Jennifer Mason coming in. And then maybe I want to do a little bit of customizations, but just a little bit of code. So a Mark Anderson or, or a Mark Rackley could come and get involved in this. Or maybe we want to go full bore and really make a, a, some really low-level changes. And that's where we can have like some real uh, developer content, server-side code running inside of some system outside of SharePoint, outside of Office 365. But that's using more like the stuff that Scott, that you would contribute or like something that Todd Baginski would contribute to us as well. So... And and then plus, at the same time, having a vendor who also plays in that same space saying, look, maybe you don't want to do all this stuff, and there is a third party that can provide something that they could kind of the same thing, they could have content that would contribute to that same area so that if a customer or a user to IT Unity could come in and they could get a full breadth of really what the spectrum is of all the different solutions, then they could choose from from the the standard end-user kind of a thing or going custom development or going even third party. So I guess... I didn't say I was going to interview myself, but I guess I just kind of interviewed myself a little bit. Yeah, no, you, you, you really hit it, Andrew. The, the point of the site as far as the way we're bringing these audiences together is that from strategic decisions and business alignment of the technology to uh, uh, planning and governance and adoption to implementation, which is the IT Pro sort of space configuration, through extensions from power users into developers and the build versus buy decision with third-party solutions and services. That's the full spectrum that an organization needs in order to make intelligent decisions about how to solve a problem. And a place to ask questions, too, and get answers. That's a great point, yes. And, you know, we've been talking about content to this point in your in your podcast, but one of the whole reasons to have a community is so that people can connect with each other. So the community is going to provide some really interesting and innovative ways for the community of let's say, business users and, and, and visitors to connect with the experts. But more importantly, we're going to provide functionality for them to connect with each other. So we have a, a question and answer engine that is a similar in approach and concept to a stack exchange. We've got uh, professional networking groups and communities of practice that are similar to, say, a LinkedIn type of group. Uh, uh, we, and we have um, the ability for users to connect with each other directly. Uh, and then we're also going to have supporting Yammer networks and other social connection capabilities that uh, we'll be announcing over the next couple of weeks that will be a, a, a way to really ensure that users are able to connect with peers as well as experts who've solved their problems. Oh, that's really interesting to hear, Dan. Well, one of the things that I'm excited about in this whole thing, too, is, is not just the quality of content and the quality of people, but also the way that we intend to provide the content. So, you know, there's a couple of different ways to look at it. We're certainly going to have a spectrum that might go from a casual blog article all the way up to even an ebook that gets published on the site. But what makes me excited about that spectrum of, of content formats is that we're really going to be able to provide continuity across a topic. So, you know, as Dan said, we expect people will often hit us by ending up here from a Google search or something. But then what we talk about is getting oriented once you land, right? So where am I? Am I in an advanced topic? Am I in the middle somewhere? Is there more I should know before I proceed? And by having this idea of series of things that are linked together in the content, you're going to be able to orient yourself within that topic area, maybe solve your immediate problem, but then navigate sort of north and south to get either more fundamentals or more advanced, and then east to west as you go say, from different content types, maybe through a series to a video to an informal blog article. And that idea of navigating you know, north and south and east and west within IT Unity, is, that's really one of the things that, that I think I'm most excited about. No, oh, that's cool. That's good. That, that's good insight, Scott, because that's, that's, I know that's one of the things that we don't have uh, in all the existing communities today. I mean, we've got some that, are, that go into a specific, very advanced scenario. Some are very end-user specific. Some are all about, you know, company line documentation uh, and, and, and verbiage about how you're supposed to use it. But we really don't get that, that lateral and that vertical, kind of, or horizontal and vertical kind of uh, cross-section on the content. So where can we expect IT Unity to go forward from here? We've launched uh, this week, uh, and we're going to, uh, or I guess last week when everybody hears this, <laughs> but we will have just, we've now been live now for about a week. So what can we expect from IT Unity over the next few months? Well, I think there's a couple of phases to that. The first is the immediate phase where we will be bringing in the authors, uh, about 200 authors that we've invited to start producing content and sharing content with us. And we've got a variety of models through which we can uh, connect with and partner with authors. 
that we expect the social functionality to start flushing out or flushing out. So obviously at go live, there aren't going to be a lot of questions or answers yet, but that will happen as, as people start registering for the site. Then we definitely expect to continue building out all of the functionality that we talked about now. So you'll see richer examples of everything we've discussed. We will start moving towards that business problem focused, uh, um, angle on content. And then because we are so committed to that, we're going to be branching very quickly into uh, technology spaces that aren't just SharePoint and Office 365. And Scott alluded to this earlier when he was talking about developers. The developer story now requires or gives you the option of bringing in tools and platforms that go way outside of the Microsoft space. Mm -hmm. um, so, and we need to be able to include that in the story. Um, also, as far as hosting that kind of infrastructure, that brings in Azure, which then brings in Active Directory and Identity Services and other Microsoft technologies as well as non-Microsoft technologies. So you will see us moving as quickly as uh, the mar as the community wants into these additional um, content spaces. And last but not least, we've got some really amazing visions for the mid and long term about how we partner with other content providers, as well as how we enable a richer and more personalized connection with the content that you need to solve the problems you're facing as an individual or as an organization. I gotcha. Okay. Well, very, and, and just to be clear, too, I mean, when people are listening to this, it's not like the site is going live and the doors are open, but there's nothing on the shelves or anything. There's content on the site today. Yep. It's that you know we're making the invitation to get more content into the site to a much broader audience than what we've been talking to a bunch of trusted partners right now to get content in uh, so far. It wasn't just a site's not going live and just saying, we're open for business. We hope everybody starts filling up with content. There's content. We have stuff there today. Right. Yeah, and one of the things that I think also is important to know that, so for Dan, and this is now your full-time gig. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Yeah. One of the differentiators with other, uh, uh, with many other efforts is that we are lucky enough to have this be a, a real focus for us. It is my full-time job as it is Jackie's and several others. Um, this is not something I'm doing on the side of other work. And that's going to be true for more and more people as we move forward. There's going to be various levels of tight relationships. So this really is built to last and to grow and to be a permanent uh, place where people can go to solve problems. Yeah, this, you know, on a, on a personal note, I mean, I, I remember you know, we've talked about different communities and what stuff needs to be out there. I guess we all have in, in the SharePoint 365 space for, for many years. Um, but, you know, in talking to you about it, I know this is something that you've been very passionate about. You've been, you've, you've, want, you've uh, worked with various companies to try and get this thing, this idea off the ground and everything. And um, when I heard, I, I, we talked about this, you know, er, late last year, early this year, um, about IT Unity, and then, but it wasn't just until about a month or so ago, or maybe two months ago, uh, when I have, I saw you and you were talking. You told me that it was now. This is your full time thing. This is what you're doing. This is this is 100 percent of your time. It's all everybody that's listening to this. I, I took a step back and I was like, "Holy crap, this can actually happen now!" Because I mean, you're you are you're in a perfect position. If I may say so. You're in a, you're in the, the perfect position to really be the one to drive this whole thing and to get to have this vision going. You had the great vision for a while and to know that this is this is what you're doing and nothing else right now, this is absolutely fantastic. It's got the best chance of succeeding with this. So I'm I was thrilled to see that you were involved in fully involved in this too. Well, so. thank you. I, I appreciate that. And we've been very lucky with the response we've gotten throughout the community. Every single person that I've had the opportunity to discuss this with, every single person has been, how can I get involved? Yep. Uh, and obviously, there's only 24 hours in a day, so there's a lot of people I still have to reach. <laughs> <laughs> Many of them will be getting the invitation emails tonight. Um, and I hope that as folks are listening to this, if you're in the community already and you have something you're passionate about, an effort you're making, this effort, IT Unity, is really about bringing us all together and finding common ways to so that everyone can win. Uh, and so we really look forward to reaching out to everyone, and I'm extremely grateful for the response we've been getting already. Yeah, I think, Dan, that I agree, Andrew, with you about that. Okay. I mean, yeah, it was one of those things that, you know, I've, I've watched Dan look for kind of his home for a while, you know, and so I was very excited to tag on with what you were saying. I was like, you're doing what? Wow. Okay. And Fortunately, I've known Jackie for a really long time, back when I was buying advertising from her from, on behalf of Microsoft, so we've known each other a really long time. And so, Dan coming at me with this, and Jackie coming at me with this, people I highly respect and who are friends and colleagues, and just their passion and excitement, and I know, you know, 
just sitting here next to you, just watching a dream come to fruition is really exciting, you know? And so I, it, it did give me pause yep. as well. You I, know? Yeah. And I, I didn't, and I, I wasn't just talking about Danny. I was talking about Jackie as well. Of because I've yeah, worked yeah, with yeah. you too and from the different conferences that we've been involved with and the company that I used to be involved with, Critical Path Training and being involved and, and, uh, Yes, it is, it's the team, the team, the people that are involved in this, it's like you've got a dream team going on. This is an absolute dream team being put together with this whole thing. Um, so it's got a huge chance of, of succeeding at, at being very, a huge, massive and fantastic resource. Like you said, not just for SharePoint, not just for Office 365. You mentioned the dev space and going into all these different places, but I know from the IT pro space, the one, the re, one of the reasons that I avoid being an IT pro as much as I possibly can. It's because of all the other stuff that SharePoint touches you have to know. The SQL side, mm-hmm. the, the DNS side, and the, the networking stuff, and the Windows side, and everything. And it's not in the identity piece. It, you know, I know that we're looking at SharePoint moving more and more to the cloud, but these aren't things that people are going to be able to run away from, at least in the near, in the near future, right. or maybe ever for a lot of companies. So we're looking at it's going to be, this is really cool to see where this is actually going to grow. Well, I mean, I think that everybody's got a pretty good picture now, or hopefully they do have a pretty good picture of what IT Unity is all about. Let me ask you guys, so how can people get involved? If someone's listening to this and they say, how can I do this? How can I, how can I contribute content to this? I don't, maybe, maybe I am one of these people that Scott and Dan have referred to that, you know, I'm one of the people that I do speak at a conference. How do I get involved in this? Or I'm not speaking at a conference. I am just in the space and I've got some cool things that I could write about and I could share. And maybe some people don't know my name. How can I, how can I get involved in this? Is it open to all of these people? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Heather, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm looking at Heather, and for those of you who can't see what I'm pointing to, I'm actually looking over at Heather and saying, Heather, how can people get involved in this? Like, yes, darling, what do you want? Uh, uh, <laughs> so, uh, first of all, yeah, we've, we've done a, a, a little marketing campaign of grab your handle, right? Go go grab your handle, like, what do you like to be called? So, um, first of all, just go to the site and sign up. That's, that's step one. Um, and then... On the site, there's lots of information. Um, if you want to be an author or want to get involved, there's a form. You know, fill out the form. I mean, it's pretty simple. Fill out the form and talk about what you want to do and and uh, what you want to bring to the table. And we're happy to take a look at that and say, hey, come come join the party. You know, absolutely. So, and that's for vendors who you know are saying, you know, I'd love to advertise on the site. You know, awesome. Well, let us know that. Um, I want to be an author. Great. Tell us what you're doing. You know, there's a million ways socially also to reach out to us. Um, we're all fairly, you know, open as far as our Twitter accounts and stuff. So, you know, send us a tweet, send us a DM, follow us, follow IT Unity, uh, interact with us, go on Facebook, go on Instagram, go on all of those things. We're there. We're on everything. So um, that Google Plus too. Um, <laughs> so um, I think, you know, th- definitely reaching out um, and, and just saying that you want to be a part of it um, is the first step, you know, and get on the site. The site is the, is the core, is the hub, obviously. It's itunity.com, you know, and that's where everything is going to um, stem from and go through and go to. So um, I, you know, reach out and get involved. So itunity.com, Jackie, what's the Twitter handle? It is ITUnity01. ITUnity01. And Facebook, same ITUnity01? Yes, ITUnity01. It's kind of like the General Lee back in the Dukes of Hazard days, the 01. (laughs) 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 You can wear your Daisy Dukes if you'd like. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Only when you're offering, not when you're, you know, no no video side of it. (laughs) Cameron will be above the the shoulder there. Well, fantastic. So, uh, anything, any parting words that you guys would like to say here to the listeners about IT Unity? You know, one of, um, yeah, I'd like to add something. You know, one of our first meetings, um, you know, we've always wanted to make a difference, you know, and um, one of the things that, um, you know, we've had a, a really great quote in that meeting was, you know, it's easy to make a dollar, uh, but it's very hard to make a difference. And we want to be able to make a difference in the community, and I think we've got the right team to do that. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's hard to top that one. I'm no parting words. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. Well, fantastic. Well, for everybody who's listening, uh, in the show notes, we're going to have links to the press release, to the website, uh, to the Twitter to the Twitter account, and um, all the other resources that we've talked about here, uh, as well as the people that are on the uh, that we've interviewed here. So you can find their Twitter handles. You can talk directly to them, um, their blogs, their sites, and everything. Um, I guess what I just say, just go check out the site. Go see what's there. Get involved. Follow us on Facebook. 
follow us on, uh, I guess, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, kind of get all the different verbs right, right on each one. So. <laughs> retweet us. Yeah, retweet us and everything. So, <laughs> And we'll retweet you. <laughs> we'll show the love. Yes. Yeah, and so and uh, next week we'll be back to the standard. Uh, CJ will be back with us uh, on the on the show, and so we'll just tackle some another topic uh, on the next week. So just thank you very much for all of you just taking the time to talk a little bit about what this great new resource is going to be all about. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Thank Thanks, you, everyone, Andrew. for listening. If you have a question for us, go to microsoftcloudshow.com slash questions, where you can submit it as text or record it as a wave or an MP3 file and provide a link so that we can play your question on the show. You can subscribe to us in iTunes by searching for the Microsoft Cloud Show or via RSS at microsoftcloudshow.com, where you'll also find a full transcript and show notes of each episode. You can find us on Facebook searching for the Microsoft Cloud Show or on Twitter at MS Cloud Show. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.